Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on last time. Last time we were building on the far side of the island, we were building a little walkway for ourselves because, well, why would we not do that? Uh, it's 13.36, it's actually mid-afternoon and we normally start in the morning, which is fine. If you're joining us for the first time, yes, we are way above the trees because we're in a tree house. We are on the PC version of the game, which means we can have our bed on a mezzanine, we can have crafting stations on the inside, we can check our box for fruit. We got some rotten fruit in there. We're gonna see if they disappear. We also have a shark on the roof. There's a shark on the roof because why would we not have that? We have a DC-3 up in the trees because the DC-3 is a beautiful machine and why would you not put it up in the trees? Don't ask questions because uh, food and water situation is fair. Uh, oh yeah, we have another shark. Shark on the roof is definitely a thing that is... I mean, it's great white shark. Great white bar and grill. Uh, grab that. Is it spoiled? Cut. I'm going to put it inside us because I don't know how long that's been there for. Nice. Let's do a little jump over here. Bonk. And then a little jump over here. And then jump over here. Excellent. Oh, and the lighthouse. Beautiful with the shark on the roof. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We actually might need to get some more building materials though. That might be a theme this episode. We also have the pond and the tail plane. The pond and the tail plane is a children's book. It's kind of boring. Let's do a little jump. Hippity O. <gasps> Dory! Yes. You and I were friends. No. Dory, it's me, Destiny. You know me? Of course. We talked through the pipes when we were little. We were pipe pals. We were? Oh, you're so pretty. So you know where I'm from? Yep. <gasps> I wonder how many people just, just stay for that bit. Just that bit. Just that bit. Anyway, um, yeah, it's the afternoon, so we have left, we have left the walkway to the lighthouse because I was just like, you know what, walkway, lighthouse, this was actually part of the construction, well, actually part of a way of getting the shark on the roof, and I was like, wait a second, it does feel better just to have the walkway there. So, speaking of walkways, we do have on the other side of the island, what's that water sitch like? Not too, too bad. The sun is going down, it's going to get dark before long, we got some crap on the beach. Uh, let's have a little drink and a little drink. Let's just check the fruit trees as well. Uh, dead shark. Dead sharks were a theme on this island. Ooh, it's a theme? Yes. What's a theme? It's the it's the music that starts at the beginning of a TV show. Uh, okay, cool. So we have full water in all of our fruity trees. Excellent. And then we have, I think the, sh the shark, the crab. Oh yeah, the crab. I believe the crab was spawning way out there and dropping into the ocean every time we got close. So what we've been doing is just building a little construction project over here because every time we go to the starting island, which is over there, and we come back, a deep water shark spawns. And then I was like, wait a second. Um, why don't we just build this way and attach that walkway to here? That would be a really good idea. Well, it is. It's also very close to the edge of the island. So these these bits of rock here represent the furthest point out you can build on a custom island. Ooh, really? Yes, really, really. So what I'm thinking is probably finish. Uh, take the take the sticks. Oh, wait. What, uh, is that the? We haven't been anywhere. Is is that? the whale shark or is that something else hmm I mean this is a new session uh, it's also very grey I'm looking up at the sky because you usually look up at the sky in order to trigger the rain sprites no it's just late in the day very late in the day oh we got some, wow we do have some wood oh excellent that's probably quite useful um yeah is that a whale shark or is that something else that's swimming around down there do not know. Yeah, that was big, whatever it was. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, it's the whale shark. So she's still here. Interesting that this is a new session and she is still swimming around. Curious and more curious. Also, I really do like the way that they've positioned the height of the shark so the, the, the dorsal fin uh, comes out of the water. That's a, a nice little touch. So yeah, what we need to do is probably... Yes, yeah, 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 I see. So we're going to need to build... I think what I'm going to do is build another 
section here. Having her swim underneath us like that is unnerving. Oh yes, okay, cool. So you can build into the rock. That's exactly what I wanted to know. I'm going to build this out here. It's going to look ugly buggly, but I want to do it so it looks A, like it's anchored, and B, if we, uh, if we break any bits off above, let's stand up, if we break any bits off above as we build the staircase, the material falls on there and not falls down there because that's going to be way, way too deep for us to um, mess around with. Also, we're going to need another stick thing there in order to build steps. So we might need to do steps and then a plate or... Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's just see. Um, but it's getting very dark. It is 16.54, so we've got another couple of hours left of daylight. We don't have any sticks left. Oh, one of two. That's actually not great. Not the worst, but not the best. Um, we do have a, an axe. Let me axe you. Hmm, it's not even English. Let me ask you a question. No, it's ask. A-S-K. But wait, does it matter what you say? As long as people understand you? Hmm. I guess not, actually. Thinking about it? No, it genuinely doesn't matter how you use a language as long as people understand you. Well, that's fair. Okay, cool. So we, we had a little slowdown again. We had some slowdown last time. And I don't know what's causing it. That is definitely missed, though. Late day. Yeah, that is missed between us and the house. There are some things that I really, really want in this game. Some expansions that I really want. In fact, I think, yeah, it's way too late now. So I'm going to put the stick in my hand. And then I'm going to build a pile and put it there. Get rid of these two. Oh, we had the medical gauze that we made last time. Okay, fine. And then a little bit of raft section. I'm going to go back to the house. So I'll go back to the house. Did we, we took out a crab last time and I can't remember where the heck the body... Oh. I can't remember where the heck the body went. It's here. It's here. So I thought we might need to go out and uh, get some more parts, but it does look like we've got plenty of parts to finish the walkway at least and maybe put some nice wooden steps in. So that's good. Good, good. Excellent. I think we also got some lamps. Uh, let's go here. Take the dead body of the crab. Chitinous shell. Drop you there. As the sun goes down, it was a beautiful day in paradise. Yeah, it was a beautiful day in paradise. I'm, I'm quite happy with what we've done here, actually. Uh, oh yeah, the, the lighting issue. So, the harbour, there are lights all the way to the end, but the light doesn't show up because the lights from the lanterns don't, uh, don't show beyond a certain distance. Which is why? Which is why? Which is, which is why? Which is why? Actually, we left the left the lantern inside the aeroplane because we want to do. Because I liked it lit up like that in the dark. But it's also, it's also, geez, English. English is my first language. Actually, English is my only language. This is why we put the shark on the roof, because the shark is a big physics object, and that means it gets lit up even if the influence on the building parts themselves, things like the floors and stuff, don't themselves get lit up. Only the fire does that apparently. So yeah, the lighthouse is doing lighthousey things. Oh, advice shark. Let me just put, tuck you back in because you seem to have come out a little way. There you go. In your little house. It's very dark up here. Hmm. I don't think we need to adv ask advice shark anything. Hmm. Advice shark, do you have any advice for us? Oh, it is very dark. You should probably get at least eight hours of sleep a day, since that is the minimum required amount for a human being. That is solid advice. Yeah, we should probably save and sleep. All right, nice. I mean, you can get away with less sleep, but yeah, you should probably you probably be more refreshed with eight hours. I, I suppose food and water situation is good. Uh, we don't have anything that is requires our attention. No, so we can just save. And we can't sleep. And we wake up and it is light. 623. Okay, so we won daylight lottery. Excellent. Now we've got a couple of things we can do. We can carry on building, which is probably the best thing to do. Uh, down there. Yes. Uh, food and water situation is that water is a little low. Food's not too bad for the time being. We can probably get some dinner later. 
that's not a problem. Uh, I'm going to get gauze out of my pants though, because medical gauze. Hmm. Bonk. Take you off there, the little bobber. We did have a go at fishing, but honestly, it's not that good. Um, and then we'll just, 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 oh, seriously? Yep, cool. I just wanted it to be, oh no. I just wanted it to be upright, but you know what? It's, it's just not playing ball. Okay, fine. So our, our cocktail bar is looking sweet. We have, we've got two of everything. Oh, we don't have two of the shark repellent, but we have, yeah, antidote, gauze, we got salve, um, yeah, and some breath boost. Nice. This little trinket can go over here with the other trinkets. Um, I have a pile in my way, don't I? Yeah, I've got to jump over the pile. You can go there. So we got ourselves, got ourselves a water skin, got ourselves a duck, got ourselves food and, and fuel. Uh, food and water situation is, yeah, food isn't not too bad. Water needs to go up a little bit. We can do that. When was the last time we had a storm? I think we had a storm last time. Hmm, what? It's the 3rd of February, so it is still very much winter. Uh, February is winter? Yes, and I think this runs on the Northern Hemisphere uh, version of of uh, January is cold, rather than the Australian version of uh, January is the middle of summer. What? January is the middle of summer? Yes, in Australia it is, yeah. They have, they, they celebrate Christmas in the middle of whatever is their summer, which is probably fire. I should imagine there's just a lot of fire uh, in Australia. So that's not even a joke, actually. I think, uh, was it last year or the year before? They had massive wildfires that were going across the country and it turned out that some of them were natural and some of them, I think, one of their fire chiefs was lighting fires in order to go and put them out. It was a weird time. And that's not that's not the only example of that. In California, there was a guy, uh, like a fire chief, that was lighting fires uh, out in the... out in the... wilderness? The desert? Whatever, the, whatever California has next to it. No, uh, Los Angeles, that's it. Um, yeah, yeah curious so we have our building project over there i'm wondering if we can yeah we should be able to we should be able to complete that that'd be lovely but it also means that we've kind of built quite close to the top of what we can build um, and by dragging those building parts out because we can't just build on the cliff um there you go some bits yeah we can't just build up on the cliff just by going up there and dropping a foundation or something because it won't let you but by dragging all this over here, we could technically just build something up there if we built through all of this wood. So what we... Uh, just seeing a tail whipping around down there, and like, you are the, you still are the same shark. You're not the... You're not a different shark. No, it's still wild shark. It's cruising around down there. I mean, I love you, but seriously, you're scaring the pants off me. Uh, things that we can stack, probably... Hmm, let's get rid of one of these and grab the wood. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll do it because what we need to do is put down, uh, if we put the hammer on our hand, uh, what we need to do is put down this, which clips into there. Bonk. We don't need to build it. We can then... Yeah, we have the hammer in our hand. Why aren't we... Oh. Then we can build more steps. Plank steps. Other way. Bonk. Bonk. And that actually just clips straight in. Nice. I might actually just... Yeah, I might actually just finish off the, the sticks. For a security... Uh, like a security measure, just so we don't drop down. It would be unfortunate if we did. I mean, we could put planks there, but... Oh, we lost a hammer. Okay, and then up onto the... Up onto the... Yeah, up here. Nice. I mean, it's a folly, if it's anything. But it was something to build. And it does mean that we, when we do go to the starting island, 
which is well, over beyond the trees actually. Uh, yeah, when we go to the starting island, what we can do is we can see what's swimming around a lot easier than if uh, if we're just standing on the coast. So that's nice. We could probably also oh, look at the house just above the trees and the lighthouse. The lighthouse doesn't feel big, but it is actually quite a large structure. And now we have two options. We can now go down here. Oh man, I like it when a plan comes together. And if we put some lights on here, then we have, oh, we don't have any sticks. Oh, beans. Beans? Yes, no oh, beans. Oh, I know what you can also do. Refine those freaking sticky, sticky leg boys. Let's knock them down. Knock it down. Take it down. Take it all down. I think we've forgotten something. Yeah, we've forgotten to drink. Mmm. I put some put some fuel in the water still. Something we haven't done in a while. So let's knock this out. Two, one. Get those sticks. Um, and you. Excellent. And that means. Oh wait. No, we we're okay. Uh, one, two, three. And I think we're okay because we only have one hammer and one axe. Oh, stairs. The game really doesn't like giving you stairs. The game's just like, I don't want to give you these stairs. You have to go into the crafting menu. We can't quick craft them. Okay, I'll do it. I'll I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Right, okay, fine. Bonk. Right, now we have some decent stairs. Uh, oh, actually, we have the parts to build a, a, a light hook. But first, we gotta do it. We gotta go and swim with the whale shark. Whale shark. Hey, sweetheart. Oh. Where did you go? Where did you go? Come out. Uh, yeah, where did she go? That's a question for the ages. Where did you go? There she is. Probably can't navigate the sea stack very well. Ooh, because she wants to swim around the player. The shark behavior is... Find the player and then swim in circles around them. And then when you're swimming in circles around them, uh, if it's an aggressive shark, then you swim into the player and do an attack. Kind of like that. Get a little air. Get a little air. Where did she go? I'm auto swimming now. I don't want that. Double tap forward and you, you auto swim. I don't actually know if you can do that on the console. Yeah, where did she go? Where did you go? It's not raining. That would that would be a thing. Ah, oh, Van Nemo. It's a big old clownfish. Yeah, I think the sea stack is just jamming jamming with a steez. So we'll just swim backwards. No, nope. we still got a broken leg. Why is my leg still broken? I mean, that's a question for the ages. It takes about a, I think it takes about a week for your leg to not to be broken. All right, well, also the water is getting very, oh, uh, hey, wait a second. Yeah, that's rain. That's definitely rain. Okay, so we swam with a whale shark. What we, oh. A hoe on a beach. I want to say a thing about Instagram, but I really shouldn't. I'll leave you to do that. You, the viewer. Oh, we got some, we got loads of lanterns. Excellent. Um, but we don't have all the part. Okay, okay. Right. Um, one, two, three, four. Grab. Two, uh, grab a couple of those. So this, oh wow, here's a problem. Here's a problem. We have built ourselves a walkway out over the sea. Now this is not island water. The island water will remain very, very flat. As you can see, sort of, um, well, around where the palm trees are. Uh, but where it's not under the influence of the island, then the waves get huge and swampy. Uh, just like that. And the frequency is very, uh, well, it does change. Sometimes the waves are not so big, like this one here. And sometimes you get a, just a ginormous wave. Yes, they're not all the same. So what I want to do is put some lights along here. What I'm not going to do is walk along here because it might... It, I don't think it'll sweep us off. But it might just be difficult for us. So I'm going to put this back in the box. Because uh, we've got some other things we need to... 
do? I thought the crab was in there, but he's not. Okay, fine. So what I'll do, one, two, all of that in there. So all of that's in there. Oh, we should probably not have our spears in there, because those are the things that we kind of need to know where they are. Okie dokie, cool. Farms, 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 farms. We are waiting on the, uh, on the fruit. We need the fruit to grow, because that'll give us another few days. We can always check the fruit that we have in the uh, in the treehouse. That'd be nice. One, two, three, four. We get some tatoes. Pole tatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Uh, we should probably also get some fuel. Yeah, we got some. We got some slots free. So get some fuel. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Excellent. So yeah, the the regular fruit trees. I think what happened is. The fruit grew, fell, uh, became rotten, and then just disappeared. I don't know if it even fell off. Definitely just disappeared. Um, with these ones, I think what could happen is if the fruit does disappear, then it'll regrow. Because only, only the farm plots, the fruit regrows. If you pick fruit in the rest of the world, the fruit will not regrow. We still haven't drunk any water. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with you? I don't know. I just, I just think we need twelve. One of eight. Um, nine. Okay, nine. Ten. Okay, ten. Uh, eleven. Okay, eleven. And twelve. Nice. Because that's one full, one full burn. Interestingly, even though, even though this pool is not under the influence basically it's like internal island it does sometimes bob up and down a bit in a storm because that is that is basically the water there you go just like moving up and down a little bit because it is under the influence of the ocean and it is basically what you do is you push the land down when you're in the uh island editor so far that it just exposes the sea level or the uh, water plane. Ah, yeah. Twisty water mess. Okay, fine. We need. To, we, can, we got. We got stuff we need to do. Stuff we need to do. Are you still dead in here? Uh, yeah. It might get better. Rub a bit of. Rub a, Rub a bit of lotion on your bones. You'll get better. Don't worry about it. Although, don't rub a bit of lotion on your bone because then people call the police. Hmm. Okay. That is, that is a look. I still want. Is that that is a DC three, right? And that's that's not a Lockheed Electra. No, it's DC three, definitely, definitely. The Lockheed Electra. Yes, that would be a, that would be an aeroplane. Oh, messed up the jump. That would be an aeroplane to put in this game. Uh, more water, please. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. I'll put water inside my body. There we go. Done. Water is now inside us. We should probably also cook dinner. Mmm. All right. It's less efficient barbecuing fish, but it kind of uh, it's all right. I mean, I I like I like it. I like doing it. Uh, we, so we got the potatoes. One, two, three, and four. They're all rotten. It doesn't matter anyway. We ain't gonna eat them. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. It would have been 12, but there was a little bit of stuff in there. Grab the old... Yep, and light the fire. Ooh, you're lighting the fire? With all these empty jerry cans around? They could have petrol vapour in them. They could have alcohol vapour in them, because we're making ethanol. Or methanol. Hmm, I wouldn't drink it, either way. But yeah. So that will create fuel. Oh yeah, we didn't check the box. Make sure the... F yep, rotten fruit is still in there. Excellent. Well, I mean, rotten fruit. It's got to be done. Uh, we could put the... Ooh. Got a bit of meat. A little bit of meat. A little meaty treat. Yeah, I'm going to take the crab though. Okay. So we'll, we'll wrench out bits of the crab. We didn't stay in the water to swim with the whale shark because the whale shark would have swum out to sea when the storm, uh, when the storm rocked up. How much fuel is in here? Not a lot. 
not a lot. So we put all the rest of the fuel in there. Uh, there we go, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, 12, 12 will fill up a fire. And it's always best to use fibrous leaves. Fibrous leaves are very overworked in this game. Like, absolutely overworked. But you know what? They're renewable. Once you've built your once you've built your um, house, once you've built your house, and once you've got your water and everything sorted out, then using them for fire is just the best way. The best way, because you're not using sticks. Ooh, but using sticks, why? We have a helipad, but oh, the heli! No, oh, the helicopter's on the freaking boat. We put the, we put the helicopter on the boat. Yes, because we were asked to build ourselves a floating helipad, but we have one. We have it. It's a boat that floats. It's a floaty boat. I'll grab it in a moment. What I'm going to do is add the lights, or at least, at least add one light. Uh, we're going to need and add another lashing. One. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's one over here, isn't there? If I get two, bonk, grab you. Uh, bonk that with an axe and then just quick craft, quick craft because of the materials on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Most efficient way of doing it. Don't need to don't need to scrabble around on the floor picking things up. It just ma magics into my pants. Um, it just magics into my pants. Okay. We should we just take the knife out. It's the, it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, cool. Um, what I'm gonna need is to jump up here. Okay, so what we'll do is we quick craft a light hook and I'll put it um, here. Okay, and then put that there. Now, should we have one? I thought I could hear a rumbling sound. She's swimming around underneath us. I was like, what is that rumbling sound? But yeah. Okay. There we go. And we should probably put one... If we put another one sort of on there... Yeah, it might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Yeah, the sharks have like a rumbling sound that they, they have when they're swimming around. So you can tell they're swimming up your bum. And you're like, wait a second, sharks don't swim up your bum? Oh, well, the bum shark does. So, and I speak with an English accent. In fact, I speak with an Oxford English accent. I'm basically Richard Attenborough, but from England. Wait, no, we're both from England. Anyway, what that means is just, uh, just trust the accent. Just trust what I have to say. And the bum shark is definitely a real creature that swims up your butt when you're in the sea. Because everyone's heard about the fish that swims into your pee. Why would there not be a shark that does the same thing? Think about it, but not too hard. Anyway, 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 anyway. The sun is going down and it was a beautiful day. Yeah, it genuinely is. We're about to we're about to be in the dark. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh man, yeah. If Hollywood is going to be doing like another proper Jurassic Park game, I'll be Richard Hammond. That'd be amazing. No expense spared. I mean, it's not quite the same. Oh, young Richard Hammond. I mean, it did take place in the 50s, a lot of the story. <gasps> yeah, that'd be amazing. I like dinosaurs. Although a lot of the early story is literally just finding funding and uh, coming up with ideas of sucking dino DNA out of resin. The dinosaurs don't come along until like the 80s in the books. The 90s in the film. Because they had to change the, the times. So, food and water situation is that food is quite far down. Oh no! That's gonna be cooked, right? It's... Cooked. Okay. I was like, that's cooked? It's not telling me, it's just telling me i got a backpack. And I'm like, I don't... I know I've got a backpack! No, I have a backpack! 
Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. That's how you eat. Just open your mouth, pour it in, and then chew. You gotta close your mouth? Ah, uh, some people do. So, the fuel is still making. Yep, yep. And yeah, that should be okay. Yeah, it should be fine. So, fuel stills. Anything with fire will work overnight when you're sleeping. But water collectors do not gather water when you're asleep. So there will be a time when they just don't function when you're unconscious. Dreaming whatever you dream. Dreaming about a dream. Dreamception. Or a shark. Anyway, let's uh, save. And let's sleep. And we wake up, and it is uh, some beautiful day, 6.02, the lights go out because the sun is coming up. Be beautiful, be beautiful. It is a beautiful day. Another glorious day. It makes me sick. Um, is it another glorious morning it makes me sick? It's Bet Medler. I can't remember the exact quote. Anyway, we, we need to do a little drink. Uh, we made some fuel overnight. Excellent. The roundel's not all the way full. You want to see a magic trick? Uh, oh, that's got 100% fuel. That's not the trick that I wanted to magic. Oh, why my my buttery fingers? 0% fuel. Want to see a magic trick? Roundel's not all the way up. 100% fuel. Wait, what? How does that work? Because uh, it's just a little bug in the game. Just a little bug. Don't worry about it. We didn't. Wait, did you make the game? <laughs> no, I have nothing to do with this game. I just made 600 episodes of uh, stuff for YouTube because people were watching. And that's literally the entire story. It's not even a good story. It's just like, why did you do it? Uh, at the time, because I'd seen somebody else play the game and I was kind of interested in it. Literally, actually, here's a, here's a true story. For anyone watching at the 30 minute mark. When the game first came out, James of Twitch forward slash cosmic underscore guppy, he got the game back when the game was still procedurally generated. So you could go from island to island to island forever. There were, there were just infinite islands. And um, I was like, oh, it's a survival game. And I looked at it and I was like, that's not really not really something I'm interested in, to be honest, of the chum. And I think like the tiger sharks were in, but it was the old model of the tiger sharks. Um the sea had a definite fairly shallow floor compared to these days, when uh the sea floor is actually well, infinitely deep. You can't swim to the bottom of it once you're off of uh, an island. So once you're away from an island, you can swim down and you won't hit a seafloor. There's just nothing down there. Oh, we should probably do a fruit check. Although it's not the morning, it's actually from when it got picked. Ooh. Oh yeah, fruit check. <gasps> Whoa, fruity fruits. Okay. We do actually have fruit. I tell you what, I'm going to let this episode run on a little longer. Um, That's a grey sea. Look up at the sky, look down again, there's the rain. Jeez, why is that rain? What is wrong with this game? It's because it's February, 4th of February, that's why. I think during the summer you can get days when it just doesn't rain and you get something like a uh, heat wave. But we have steps up here now. We do. Um, which means we can craft a light hook. Now do I want to put it here? Yes, is the answer. And I'll put that there. Ooh, wow. I didn't realize how badly this can actually get swamped, but not too bad. I was thinking this might have been a little too high as a structure, but looking at how, yeah, how the waves interact with it, I think it's actually a perfect height. You could probably stand at the end and even, a, even the biggest wave, like that one over there, which is enormous. That is a really tall wave. Um, yeah, that's that's not going to sweep you off. Because while the waves won't sweep you off sideways, I think what would actually happen 
is uh, you might go into this. Oh my god, yeah, that would have sw swamped you. You you go into the swimming animation temporarily. Hmm. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go up here and not be there. So yeah, James was playing it. A uh, very different game. A lot less things. There was lighter in the game. There were buckets in the game. There were mangroves in the game. No mangrove trees. But it's, uh, it's very different. It's basically been rebuilt from the ground up since 0 0.16, I think. Um, that. Yep. Excellent. So yeah, uh, it's been been rebuilt since 0 0.16. Procedurally gener generated islands and, and various bits and pieces. But I saw somebody else playing it at 0 0.11, I think. Because I think he was playing at 0 .1, uh, 0 0.4, I think his his version of the game was. 202 days survived, excellent. Um, and I was like, yeah, it's not interesting. And then I saw someone playing uh, a later version of the build, which was much more like this. And I was like, actually, yeah, no, this is... I'll give it a go. So we started 0 0.12 pre-release. And now we're at 1.01? 1.02? Something like that. But yeah. So we finished... Oh, I know what we were going to do. We finished, uh, we finished building our little folly with our paths and things. We now know we can build into the sea stack. So if we need to pick up and build something on the headland we could technically do that we do have our gyrocopter which it's written that we would fly back up there let's do that from our, our raft give it all the beans so we do have technically a floating i was looking down i was just like oh wait this is a different game jurassic park trespasser has uh like a heart tattoo on your chest. You play Anne, who's voiced by Mini Driver. And it's a game from 1998. And, um, yeah, I keep looking down and it's like, it's not going to be there. There's no heart tattoo. Wrong game, old chum. Lighthouse is looking pretty sweet, even in the storm. That is, that is a good looking lighthouse with a big, big old dead great white. But the dead great white actually does stuff for us. Oh, yeah, we should probably pick those fruits as well. And just give a quick check on the status. Oh my god, this is going to be a long episode. So pick that. Kura. Pick that. Kwawa. Get back in. And then take off. Give it all the sauce. Excellent. Yeah, the, the whale shark would have swum out further into the, uh, into the sea. So she swims a little further away. Uh, as we come over the headland, you probably can't actually see anything. Yeah, we've got a building building project there, a little folly. Nice, ooh, trees, wonder if they'll be our friend. Probably not. And as we go back up and land on a helipad. Bonk, because no, no house is complete without a helipad. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've got a couple of bits of fruit. I just want to check and make sure the rotten fruit is still in the box because we know that's at least two cycles. It is. Okay, so the spoiled quawa and spoiled kura, spoiled potatoes, they're not being removed from the game if they're in a box. But we know if we leave them, uh, if we leave them somewhere, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these two to go off and see if we can make them disappear once more. Let's find somewhere safe for them. Somewhere safe where they can't possibly disappear. I'm going to put them up here. Bonk. And then bonk. So these two are on the roof. They cannot fall off. There is nowhere for them to go. And we're going to let them spoil. And then we're going to see if they disappear from the game. And we're going to see if the other ones stay in the box. I think the other ones are going to stay in the box. I think these two will vanish. And that will solve the mystery of the missing fruit. Excellent. We got, we've actually got quite a few bits and pieces done. The storm is easing off. The sky is getting a little brighter. The music is coming back. The rain sprites will be down for quite a while. But that is just the way of things. It's a slightly longer episode because, well, here's the thing. For anyone who's reached the 40 minute mark, don't, don't say I don't reward you with like little nuggets of information, but for anyone who's reached the 40 minute mark, um, 
Yeah, I couldn't record yesterday because uh, there was a storm rolling through Cornwall, where I live, and it was super loud, like super amazingly loud. I was just like, I can't record, so you get a slightly longer episode of Stranded Deep as, uh, as compensation. Anyway, good. So we've done a bunch of stuff, we've flown around, we've finished our folly, we've uh, kept an eye on the fruit, the, you swam with a whale shark, the sun is back up in the sky, very high uh, clouds up there and yeah everything's looking nice and bright and ah, there we go cool excellent we're back to where we started so if you like this definitely leave a little like leave a subscribe uh if you do subscribe click the little bell because i give you notifications when videos go live if you don't want notifications you can be subscribed and never hear from the channel just don't click the bell but i'll tell you what i'll catch you next time